Hey everybody, Ian here, bringing you the final episode of my very first Let's Play. It's rather sad to end this Let's Play, to be perfectly honest, because I started this Let's Play about a year ago, a little under, same month. In fact, I think it was like September 12th is when I started. So, last episode, we got through the final dungeon. This episode, we're going to take on the final four bosses. So, in this place you can have a Pokemon Center, a place you can battle and just do battles, which that is not important right now because I am using an emulator, and I doubt I will ever defeat somebody with my team. So, we hope to see you again. That is the final time. Don't ever hear that. So yeah, you want my Pokemon to die? Yep, final time. When I say that in this Let's Play. Man, I feel sad saying that, it really does. So, off screen, I went ahead and stocked up on supplies. Let's go and take a looky here. Max revive, 1, 40 hyper potions, 34 revives. So this is pretty much the only items you'll need. Uh, just a little warning, in order to get hyper potions, you do have to go to Cinnabar Island. Just a quick little bit of a heads up. Let's go and talk to this guy. Hi there, may I help you? This is what you can buy. Full restores, max potions, full heals, but yeah. I might want to buy, like... Five full restores. I mean, this is the last part of the game where you're going to need money, so might as well just spend it. And sorry if I sound a tad bit quiet. It just uh, it's late at night, and I don't want to wake my uh, family. So let's go and save the game. Forty hours, fifty-one minutes. So go in here. Once you enter the, the Elite Four, you cannot leave. So, starting with the Elite Four, I think this is, uh, what's her name, goodness, I forget her name, but this is my lineup, let's go and look at my Pokemon, Lodrio, Cthulhu, oh, these guys are so awesome, uh, Snorlax, no, my starter, Venusaur, Man, I love this thing. My second Pokemon ever caught, Blue. Very nice Pokemon. And finally, <laughs> we can't forget Ducks. Sorry about that. So, since uh, I think the first member of the Elite Four has Ice types, let's go ahead and. I think the lead is a Dugong. So. You are Lorelei. I am Lorelei D4. No one bests me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at mercy when they are frozen solid. Haha, -ha, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. It feels so good to finally end my first Let's Play. You guys have no idea how successful I feel, so, leaves off at level 54 Dugong. I'm sorry to not know the moves, but you can look them up yourself. Um, by the way, total win, Toxic and Poison Powder, but let's go for the Razor Leaf, because I am faster, guaranteed crit. Hopefully this is a two-shot, because I do not want to take an Ice Beam. Critical hit, yada yada yada, blah blah blah, and a rest. <laughs> yeah, it's really intelligent. It's a good thing I didn't go for Toxic right there. So, go for another Razor Leaf, uh, one after this will kill it, thankfully. And going down, going down, going down. Yeah, as I'd say, for a critical hit, but then I realize, oh wait, it is a critical hit. Enemy Dugong is fast asleep. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. First Pokemon of the Leaf 4 taken out. So, let's go on and talk about some stuff. Uh, since tomorrow, uh, the day I'm recording this is September 6th, I'll be starting school, so there will be a Major delay in videos, just so you know. That's an Cloyster. From what I remember, Cloyster actually does have pretty decent uh, special and insane defense. So, Pizza Hut, let's go ahead and go for the rocks. Why do I go for the double edge clamp? What is clamp? Can't. It's one of these. I completely forgot about the move clamp. Enemy cloister attack continues. Enemy cloister attack continues. 
enemy cloister attack continues. <laughs> Moves like this are so broken back in Generation 1. Uh, let's go for the Hyper Potion. I'm sorry if I do sound like I'm bored or something along the lines of that. It's just I'm trying to keep quiet. And of course, because I cannot switch out. Does he even know anything other than Ham? Uh, this is. Wait, I can switch out? Uh, Aurora. Did I seriously have to switch in on the Aurora Beam? Uh, 7,089 is enough to take another one, sadly. Uh, Red Leaf, please. Please live one more. 79 and 79 is, of course. Uh, 158. Or you just one shot. Um, I did not realize that. I thought it would do. Uh, why? I did not realize it would one shot it. It's like an experience. A bad sending slow, bro. Which is a water psychic type. No ice, surprisingly. Go for the Ridge Relief, and it should be a one shot. Ah, oh, no, they have really good special and HP. Again, sorry if I sound really bored and just trying to keep quiet. Amnesia raising its special. Oh, I did not realize. I thought you'd heal up. Oh, there we go. There's a super potion we all love. And I guess I can go. Ah, just go for the kill. Hopefully this will kill. I think critical hit negates all defensive boost though, so. That is very nice. I know it does in 4th uh, and 5th and 3rd and... I'm not quite sure about 1st and 2nd though. In gen generations, is what I mean. So, um, it feels really strange ending off uh, on a let's play. Spetson and Jinx. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, oh, I didn't mean send it in, but oh well, it still work. Uh, about a year ago I started, I had really bad microphone problems. If uh, any of you guys care to go back, it's the uh, first video ever uploaded. Let's go for the drill pack. It, I was just so terrible, I was sitting here with first ever Let's Play, and... Oh, okay, this will definitely kill. But, first ever Let's Play, it's, it's been a blast, seriously guys. This is this has been really fun over the course of the year, and again, sorry if I sound really bored, I'm not trying to be... Get him? I know, that's it. But, I'm not trying to sound bored, it's just the fact that uh, I'm trying to keep quiet. So, I'm really sorry, I'm actually really enthusiastic about finishing this up. That's something Lapras. This is the thing I'm afraid of most, to be perfectly honest. Now, Pine hopefully can take a hit from this Lapras. Although that is really high level, Ice Beam probably kills. Let's go for a Toxic. Thank you, Toxic, for hitting. Okay, never mind, Blizzard. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, there's no way Pine is living a Blizzard. I guess pizza or Cthulhu, whatever I misclicked. Can Cthulhu do anything? No. Pokemon. So that's pizza. Let's see, 10 minutes into the video, first the four member. Body slam, horror. He gets the paralysis. Hurt by poison, that's good. Uh, I go for the rock slide, because it's super what? Ow, just gonna hurt. Snorlax is not a good special in this game. This might actually kill. Yes! Like a boss. Go for the rock slide. Super effective. Snorlax is massive attack stat. Should kill him. Oh, okay, that did jack all. Item. Uh, hyper potion, I guess, just stalled. That was my best bet, really. Enemy Lapras, use Bunny Slam. Enemy Lapras, hurt by poison. Okay, enough reading the text on screen. Again, just gonna have to go ahead and... <laughs> just, uh, spam him out of moves. I guess just go for another rock side. Okay, ow, Blizzard. Not as powerful as Hydro Pump, though. Which is nice. That still does so much. And this rock side should take it out, so uh, first moment of EV4 down after 10 minutes. It's super effective. So I just have to take a quick breath. Attack is 116. That's uh, that's a very nice. I have no idea what type of voice that was. Sorry about that. Infeed Lorelei. How dare you? 
You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You want to get a taste of the Pokemon unique power. So let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, let's go for his Uribes. Revive, use on. Fine. Uh, you kind of forget what the next member is. A lot of people would like to argue uh, Lorelei's most difficult member to be for, which personally I like to agree with. So hopefully I can get this uh, all finished up in a reasonable amount of time. So that way I don't have to spend like an hour rendering the video because rendering can actually take quite a while. Yeah, no, this is, this is so exciting. It's, but th as I said, um, I'm only been less playing for a year. I know a lot of people are like after a year you really should have a bigger fan base. But I mean, this is uh, one thing people have really been talking about. It's called the. Uh, Triple T, the TTTT. It's uh, together to the top. Where the point is that uh, basically big YouTubers just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You get a picture, but small YouTubers like me just stay stay small. They never get any bigger because when you're big, or really all you need to do is have connections. I mean, I guess I have some connections, but not really anything like uh, nowhere near big. But as I said before, it really is if you're. If you're big, you stay big. If you're big, you just get bigger. If you're smaller, you just stay smaller. So, Dr. Bruni before. I'm not gonna keep on too much the subject too much because people might get mad, like because I know I'm not a good less player. Or my narration is terrible, and I rarely update. To be perfectly honest, I, I know it's terrible on me, but it's kind of hard to find time to record. And that's if I can find time to record, it's usually like this where I have to keep really, really quiet. So, taking on the second member of the Elite Four Pokemon Red. Again, I'm really sorry about how uh, bored I might sound. I'm just going to try to keep really quiet. So, we're missing out Onyx. Uh, locked up by now, and of course. Does this bring back any memories of the early parts when uh, Pine was just destroying Brock's Onyx? No? Yeah, not really. Uh, sorry about that. Critical hit times were effective, just so much of a kill effect that stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like doing that. Actually, I uh, never mind. <laughs> I was trying to figure out quickly in my head, but I didn't feel like doing it because late at night. So you about to <laughs> nice way to stumble over your words. It's about to snap Hitman Chan, so let's go Dojo. See what I did there? I I did mess all around. Ooh, we lived? What? Okay, Ice Punch is a good thing that Hitmonchan has. It's so little special attack. It's super effective, but it did nothing because Hitmonchan is terrible. So, about to go for the Tri Attack, and that is enough to take it out, which is nice. Wow, that's enough to take it out. It's a nice way to uh, speak there in a bit of a competitive language. Uh, that's now Hitman Lee. So, Hitman Lee, uh, slightly less defense that defense. I think that's what I'm going to figure out. Yep, it is a one-shot KO, which is actually rather convenient because I did not want to take one of those things hits. And the Drew with level 46. Look at that attack, 118. You mad bro. But send out another Onyx, which is... I really do not get why they did this, I mean... I really don't get why they had uh, E4 members that really don't have enough Pokemon to fit their type. Like what they did in Diamond and Pearl with a Flint. Not Flint. Well, Flint and... Uh, yes, Flint. Flint and uh, whatever the 8th gym leader was. Like, they only had like, two or three of their actual type. I remember Flint had a Drifloom, Steelix, and I think a third wild card, but definitely not enough to make an actual team. The winner that's in is Big Daddy Machamp. Machamp is an insanely overpowered Pokemon. It just has so much attack, and if this thing can get a rock slide off, which I hope it doesn't, I am done for. Of course I could have gone for the Growl, but Growl probably wouldn't help too much. And... Fissure? What? Oh, apparently it's Fissure, which is like, 4th gen, I guess? Like, he kind of hoped to get no guard, but I guess Bruno was ahead of his time. But that is the second member. Done. I think second member. Uh, I lost the track. So second member at 15 minutes. So yeah, my job is done. Go face 
Ouch. Uh, go face your next challenge. Let's go ahead and heal up the guys that uh, were a little bit injured in the battle. Hyper Potion. I don't mean to do that. And actually, to be perfectly honest, uh, I kind of lied earlier in the video when I said my final video. But, uh, because, of course, I mean, I'm just gonna spoil it. The Elite Four is not Elite Four, it's like Elite Four with one champion, and champion, I will say for another video. I'm Ikatha Elite Four. Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. That was decades ago. Now he just wants to the fiddle with his Pokédex. He is wrong. Pokémon are for fighting. Ian, I'll show you how a real trainer fights. Well, I might do that. I'm not entirely sure if I'll uh, cut the champion into a different video. I mean, I really just want to get this over, to be perfectly honest. And I forgot to change out my lead. Uh, go Pizza Hut because of Earthquake. And because abilities and exist back in Hypnosis. Darn it. Sorry about that, how do you go on again? I love that little melody. Confuse Ray, right? that's kinda lame Gengar. I really do hate her Gengar. They're so much more annoying in uh, third gen, in the Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, they're, they're much more annoying because they, uh... Get the words out, get the words out. They, they actually have the ability to levitate, which means they cannot be hit by ground type attacks. So hopefully Pizza Hut can get an Or you could just use Confuse Ray when I'm- I hate when enemies do that to be perfectly honest. Oh wait, Full Heal doesn't heal Confusion? I did not know that, but I really hate when enemies do that, like, you go to switch out and they use the status they just statused you with- WHAT?! I guess the 10 level difference means a lot. Can I use Night Nightshade, which is it actually a decent, decently powerful move at this level, 56 damage guaranteed. And that is the uh, first Gengar down. I really hope she sends like her Golbat or something. So that I can send the like, Cthulhu and Ice Beam. That's sending Golbat, I called it, see it called it folks, so sending Cthulhu. Cthulhu, oh no, that, that's just such an ugly sprite to be perfectly honest. And it is not gonna be a one shot. Oh, I got the freeze! Ah, oh, that's awesome. That is rather, that is rather nice. Let's just go for it. Oh, I, didn't, I completely forgot I had a blizzard. I should probably save those anyway, so it's good. And that's and then Haunter. Haunter. Ah, uh, Steven, you are... You're quite the haunter, you are. Uh, I wonder if he's actually even watching this. I don't know. And that is... N ah, critical there. Uh, super Potion. Uh, but yeah, they, they actually only use Super Potions in this game. They do not use Bull Restores, which is really nice. Oh, look at that. Two crits in a row. Uh, you lose. That's Ascendant Arbok. And I guess I'll send out Pizza Hut. Not really much Arbok can do to me. Go, Pizza Hut. Go for the Earthquake, but Glare, seriously. So I guess it really is just about uh, status. I think Arbok's bulkier. Yeah, Arbok's much bulkier. But it's a good thing. It's just, it seems like the Elite Four is wow. The Elite Four. Oh, come on, it's lame. The let me get my words out. The Elite Four is definitely thinking of later generation movesets because Bike and Flinch and Process. That's actually that might be a decent send back in the way with a Coil, Bite, uh, Poison Jab, and Glare. Acid. I guess that's the only stab move you can get that's decent. And my defense fell. Oh, the Hex. Ow, Bite. That might actually hurt. Ah, that, okay, so Arbok is down, and all that's left is our, our final Gengar, I believe. It's super effective. That's not Gengar. You know what? Let's go with Cthulhu. Cthulhu really is such a such a really good Pokemon. I'm glad I used it. I decided to use it. 
Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for the confusion hacks. Thanks for your support. Cthulhu's confused. It hurt itself. It's confusion. Like, what does that mean to hurt itself? Confusion? It's like, run up to a wall or something? Oh, Cthulhu, you're confused. And you're like, you surf? That's actually really stupid because Gengar has, like, insane, uh, special. I'll go first. The Nightshade. You know other stupid says, uh, not going, going, like, keeping with Cthulhu, okay, yeah, I'm switching out to Snorlax, is also rather low on health. Hey, guess the Drio. It's toxic, what? Huh? Of course, when I switch, but I hope the Drio can outspeed. The drill back and you cannot outspeed. speed. Thank you, Cthulhu. Or not Cthulhu, though, Drio. With all those weird uh, female sign names. Yes! And that's not gonna kill it, but hopefully this. Okay, yeah, you really need to. Uh... You really need to hit through this, though, Drio. Please hit. Yes! Yes! Oh man, that's really nice. So now all we have left is Lance and. Cthulhu would level 48. And yeah. Ian defeated Agatha. Oh no, you're something special, child. Yeah, I really don't care for old people. That's a crowd rude. I really don't care for old people in video games, I should say. And you know I'm just gonna actually cut this up your back. Okay, so after healing, let's go ahead and I guess save the game just in case you never know really. This is the final one with 4 and of course they had to include just a little bit of a hallway. So, let's go ahead and walk up and talk to him. Uh, I heard about you, Ian. I lead the 4 You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are a mythical Pokemon? They're hard to catch and raise. Superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Ian. I love how he knows my name. It's like, am I that good of a battler that he knows my name? But Lance wants to fight. Lance, now Gyarados. Okay, Pine's out front. Go for the Toxic. Dragon Rage. Yeah, that's like the only Dragon type of generation. Again, with the only having one. Pokemon. That's actually Dragon Type on this team. Actually, no, he only has. Oh. Misclerk. Leer. And go for the Leech Seed so I can really be sapping myself. Spa sapping my Venusaur. That was really bad engineer impression, or Venusaur sapping my Gyarados. I'm like, can you can't do it with can't do it engineer accent. Which gives a southern accent, which I really can't do either. Raise the leaf, please do good amount of damage, please do good amount of damage, please do good amount of damage, please do good amount of damage. I would laugh if to get out. That was a, that was, that's funny. Dragon Rage, oof, this is gonna hurt. But uh, Gyarados is actually almost dead, which is hilarious. Oh wow, look at that. Oh look at that, Pine took out Gyarados without even, without even losing a hit at the end. Pine good level 49, what? Uh, that's sending Dragonair. Uh, that was my Skype, I'm sorry if you heard it. Ah, Dragonair looks really weird in this generation. <laughs> Let's go for the Ice Beam, hopefully you should take it out. And it does not... Hyper Potion, oh, schnickies. At least it does waste its turn. Honestly, very surprised by the speeds. Oh, it does. Let's go use agility again. Gotta love that AI. That first generation AI. Please send in Dragonite. Please send in Dragonite. Here! Dragonite. And just go for Ice Beam again. Same strategy. Same strategy, different Pokemon. SSDP. 
agility. Oh, look at that. If he goes for agility, get out of Oh, look at that. It is like a deja vu all over again. That's an Aerodactyl. If I saw this earlier in my Let's Play, I would start singing, but I know you guys don't want to hear me singing. Okay, fine. Chop me leave. War Turtle. Mewtwo Tentacle Aerodactyl. Oh, man, that slow poke. Pidgeot Arbuckzal, folks. Yeah, I think Aerodactyl is part of that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I just probably sing for the sake of it. And man, I take down the lot. I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice ducks. I'm, I'm sorry, ducks, but you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to take one for the team here, ducks. You've been a great member of the team, a very valid member. You're definitely gonna have to take one for the team here, ducks. Cause I have to heal up, uh, Cthulhu. I'm sorry, ducks, but you just, you just have to do it. Don't, 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 don't look at me like that. Just Sand attack with all you can. <laughs> yes, ducks. Sand attack. Sand attack. Oh no, you killed ducks. <laughs> That's actually rather funny. Oh, ducks, you actually did help. So, Cthulhu, you can do this, buddy. Agility, wow. God, I love that first generation AI. Wow. Thank you for missing. Wizard should. Actually, I doubt I could take it out since it is cool. It's 14 levels higher than Mega. And it did take it out, awesome. You know, even I said like 10 minutes ago or so that I would actually not record through blue. I think I will. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Ian. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you will have been, but you have been one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Gary. He be DD4 before you. He's a real Pokemon League champion. So, after that very pathetic loss for him, or pretty much all of Pokemon kind, let's go ahead and heal up. I know I'm wasting hyper potions, but boo -hoo. to see you, and this is the final time I'll ever fight Wavy Hair Dude. It's sad. Wavy Hair Dude is definitely rather sad, missing him. I was looking forward to seeing you, Ian. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While well, I'm working on a Pokédex, I look all over for powerful Pokémon. Not only that, I assemble teams that would beat any Pokémon type. And now, I'm the Pokémon League Champion, Ian. Do you know what that means? I'll tell you, I am the most powerful trainer in the world. I love that ego. So, <sighs> take a break. We got a little sec. Because I'm fighting the final battle. So now, Pidja. Great, Pine's out front. Pokemon. Go, Cthulhu. I think it only has, like, Sand Attack and Quick Attack or something like that. Or Whirlwind. Oh, look at that, unaffected. Blizzard. Yes! I doubt to get Pidgeot, though, since Pidgeot is rather bulky. Yes, critical hit. Thank you. This come off to a great start. Sun and Charizard are where you can send it next. Right on. And Alakazam. Oh, crikey. Um, I really need Pizza Hut for... What do you call it? Charizard, so let's send Dodrio out here. Oh man, the, the Alakazam is definitely the strongest on this team. I am so terrified of this thing. Drop pack. Oh, why'd you have to set up the reflect? No. Oh, the shit, shit. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. No. This hurts. It's, this will definitely KO after a 13 levels higher. Alakazam is definitely the. the oh wow, I lived. My special spell doesn't really matter, but definitely the most threatening Pokemon on this team. That's okay, you're only wasting turns to your reflect. Please get a crit, please get a crit, please get a crit. Actually, I think when you're Psybeam, I think when you're slower, you actually do not get uh, crits. Critical Ed, that's irony. Blue, get out there. Do some work. Great 
Ch mm, that, okay, that, uh, blue's, blue's a goner. Oh, if Dodri will love, blue could probably live, because I think blue has decent special. Or you could just critical hit, that's too fine too. Ah, uh, pizza, I think you're gonna have to, uh, try to, uh, take it out by yourself. Sidebeam, thank you for using Sidebeam. That was rather nice of you. Oh, I think it can be this. Ow, that really hurts. I'm not gonna risk it, to be perfectly honest. I'm just gonna go ahead and slow him out of all of his attacks. Psychic, I'll definitely feel the live. Ah, why did you have to use Psychic? The Salakazam, man. The Salakazam. When's the Reflect gonna go? It should go any minute now. Not any minute, but any turn now. At least I think it should. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. Man, that, that, that's annoying. Just gonna have to spam uh, the Hyper Potions. Psychic, please don't get a crit, please. I know it's like really stupid to try to stall out faster Pokemon in first generation. But, special foul. Daggone it. When is the reflective gonna go away? Or does it not go away in generation one? Was it reflect or barrier? I don't know. <clears throat> that critical has hurt so much. Okay. Okay, Ducks gonna have to take one for the team again. Do I have, do, don't I have that one max revive yet? This is something right here that I really hate making a decision of in Generation 1. Should I go for the slower but the tank to stall it out? You know what, I think it's actually almost low on Psychics. Because you can use it quite a bit. Like four, like five or six times I think so far. Or you could recover. Oh man, please use recover again. Please use recover again, please use recover again, please use... Yes! Thank you, stupid AI. Oh, you're using it again. Ah, oh, thank you, first generation AI. I love you so much. Oh, that's actually rather hilarious. Wait. Can Ducks take out first generation Alkazam? A level 15 Farfetch taken out a 59. Level 59 first generation uh, Alakazam. Can it do this? I'm spamming ears. Oh man, this is hilarious. Go, cut with all you can. Oh wow, you missed too. Thank you, Ducks. Cut with all you can, Ducks. Cut, keep on cutting. Go, Ducks, kill him. Kill him, Ducks. Go, go, darn it, you hit! Oh well, Duck, you did your job. Oh man, you gotta love that uh, first generation AI, but again, I'm trying to keep really quiet, that's why I, I, I didn't sound enthusiastic about that. That was actually really funny. Uh, double edge, go! Oh, I'm so glad to use Psychic. But, uh, was it's minus four, but it does have to reflect up. <coughs> Look how close that was. Oh man, that is sadly close. That just makes me sad on the inside when it gets that close. You know what? I know I could take one, and even if I die from recoil, it's good enough because that Alakazam is now out of here. But yeah, Alakazam really is the most threatening Pokemon on this team, without a doubt. That's an ride on. Go Cthulhu for the easy kill. I am... This, this is outstanding, guys. This is really amazing. I mean, you would not believe how happy I was that he's able to use Reflect just once. That was just... Oh, man, that's so awesome. And Surf, I mean, that's enough to take out Rhydon. And if only I had to push you to uh, hit the weak spot. I had to send an Exeggutor. Exeggutor. Go Pine, you could probably take some hits. Probably gonna have to. 
probably gonna have to do it because I had to heal up. Toxic? Yeah, that's actually rather nice because I don't think they use full restores generation one, so he, he does he loves spamming that hypnosis. Let's take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Heal up uh, the Drio. I hope I, I use, barely used any revives and I thought I was gonna have to like, stock up on all of them. No okay, guidance again. Control the world. And uh, hyper potion up the Drio. But now I know if I extend the Drio, I know he'll either go for the Dream Eater or Hypnosis again. I really hope it doesn't go for Hypnosis again. Go for the Stop. That's random. That did a lot. But now a Drill Pack will take it out because it's so low in health. See, guys, this is strategy at its finest. And Gyarados. Should I go for the same uh, Toxic Leech Seed? Which I think I'm gonna do because Venusaur really was such a powerhouse in Generation 1, so I've been funny. Did I just press fight and nothing happened? Oh, that's right, I'm sleeping. Derp, derp, derp. Item. Uh, okay, flip, there we go. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm really terrible at singing. I never didn't. I never said it was good. Toxic. No, <laughs> why'd you have to do this? Hyper Beam. I think I can level Hyper Beam because it's not stabbed. I'm not gonna do that voice again. Do you remember that voice I made back in the Pokemon Tower for Dragon Rage? That type of voice, and I was like killing my throat. Because my throat's already a bit raspy, I'm not gonna risk it. You see? Yes. Hopefully. Okay, he's gonna get another Dragon Rage, so. I guess I can just go ahead and heal up, I guess. I don't know. I'm rather low. What's well, a good thing I have that, uh. Nice Leechy recovery. Where's the leaf? I'm, how am I faster than the Gyarados? Makes no sense. But of course, they're broken critical heads. Let's check out the Crits Krieg. Uh, Team Fortress 2 reference. We all love him. So after the Toxic and the Leech Seed, this Gyarados is down. I believe all he has left is the uh, best Pokemon ever, Charizard. Yes, I was doing a little quotation with my fingers. So, that's some in Charizard. How fitting is it that the final Pokemon I will face in this Let's Play is the first Pokemon I ever faced? Go for the surf, guys. Slash. That's actually rather scary. Okay, could we that broken much? Come on. Come on. Come on, Cthulhu. Come on. Is Snorlax still alive? Yes, Snorlax is still alive. Snorlax, yes. Yes. Yes, guys. I just beat the game. I just finished my let's play. Ha oh, man, guys, you have no idea how this feels. No, that can't be! You'll be my best! After all that work to become the late champion! My reign is over already! That's not fair! You broke the rules! You broke the rules! Okay, no, no references, sorry about that. Why, why did I lose? I never made any mistakes racing my Pokemon. Darn it, you're making a new Pokemon new champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Hey, Ian. So you won. Congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur. Ian, you have come of age. Gary. I'm son, I am disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the E4. But when I got here, you had already lost. Do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love, like I did. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Ian, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. Yeah, it kinda was my own doing. Uh, the bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Ian, come with me.
<coughs> Congratulations, Ian. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Ian, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Ian. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. <laughs> well, I love that Hall of Famers. They put a little small ass right there. So. Pine, you are definitely the MVP, I would say. Not the MVP, uh, definitely very high up there. Cthulhu, I have to uh, give you the MVP award because you took out the final Pokemon in the game. You were definitely one of my favorite team members, thanks to your work, Cthulhu. Snorlax, you did your work so many times in the game, you are definitely a well worth companion. Thank you very much for your time. Next we have Dodrio, you were definitely a lifesaver a couple times there. Uh, you were definitely one of my favorable team members. Blue, how can you forget the Persian? Even though you might not have been the highest level, you were definitely one of the highest in my hearts. And finally, we cannot forget Ducks, the Pokemon that brought it through. So if I had to give an MVP award to somebody other than uh, Cthulhu, I would definitely give it to Ducks. He... Look at X rating, you still need more, okay. But Ducks really, if it wasn't for Ducks, I would have lost, to be perfectly honest, so... I guess I actually scratch that about Cthulhu, sorry Cthulhu, but Ducks really deserves the MVP. I mean, it's, I'm not even joking, I'm serious right here. But because you got those sand attacks off, man, Ducks, you are definitely my, uh, you're definitely the MVP. the end. Yeah, I'm sorry I super sped it, but this is the end, folks. The final minutes of my Let's Play. Uh, that was my Skype going off. So, let me just go ahead and give you guys some thanks. And you know what? No, that's all mushy and gushy and bahasa that for my one year special. So, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more. For the final time, I'm signing out of Pokemon Red.